Hey everybody, thank you so much for promotion for letting me be here today. My name is Kevin Mahoney. Uh, this first song is called Playing With Fire. There's a man standing on a corner Strangers in the night you need the disguise Just a woman now Sees an opportunity To ruin his life without You getting wise It's the same old story Yeah, nothing new But he's tempted Never looks back Same old thing Yeah, nothing new But it's over There's no turning back Playing with fire You know I play with fire Playing with fire You know I play with fire Bet it all, bet it all or nothing And she still has a price to pay She's alone now Way past forgiveness If heaven holds a spot for those who pray It's the same old story Yeah, nothing new But she's tempted Never look back Same old thing Yeah, nothing new But it's over There's no turning back Play yeah, with fire You know I play with fire Play yeah, with fire You know I play with fire Play yeah, with fire you know I play with fire Play yeah, with fire You know I play with fire This one's called On and On. Crowded streets and empty places Looking through the same Where'd we go wrong? Live the nights without care Always start the bed Where'd we go wrong? Need to know you're alright We have eyes every night Just walk away but you're never all alone On and on and on and on on and on and on and on Yeah, 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 yeah On and on and on and on On and on and on and on Yeah, 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 Never thought that be dealing Where did I go wrong? Nothing I could say here Now you're with somebody new Where did we go wrong? Need to know you're alright Think about us every night and I 
just walk away, but you're never alone. On and on and on and on, on and on and on and on. Yeah, 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 yeah. On and on and on and on, on and on and on and on. Yeah, 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 yeah. On and on and on and on. On and on and on and on Yeah, 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 yeah On and on and on and on On and on and on and on Yeah, 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 I can see clearly now, rain is gone I can see all obstacles in my way Gone are the darkest time, had me blind Gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day It's gonna be a bright, bright Sunshiny day Think I can make it now Pain is gone All of the bad feelings have disappeared Here is the rainbow I've been searching for It's gonna be a bright Bright Sunshiny day Gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day Look all around, it's nothing but blue skies Look straight ahead, nothing but blue skies oh, I can see clearly how rain on I could see all obstacles in my way Here is the rainbow I've been searching for It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day 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 Gonna be a bright, sunshiny day This one's called Don't Know Why
Promotion Studio. Today we're joined by Kevin Mahoney. What's going on, man? Hey, Josh. Thanks so much for having me. This is awesome. What a great day. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot for coming by. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, how you started playing, and how you came to be playing around here in Knoxville. Yeah, so I've been playing pretty much all my life. I started out as a drummer way back when. Um, guitar got into my hands, and I was bitten. Um, so I played up in New York quite a bit, uh, and uh, really had an opportunity to come down here to Knoxville, and uh, really just phenomenal community down here and I'm very very thankful from all the lifelong friends that I met and that I continue to play with. Uh, so what were you doing in uh, New York when you started playing? Um, different bars and coffee houses. I would get together with a couple of bands. I did some solo stuff. Um, I was in some bands and then after a little while um, the solo bug got me and uh, right. I started doing that and, and then just it opened me up to being collaborative with a lot of other people. Um, so I took that and came down here and, and pretty much did the same thing. So was it a job opportunity to brought you to Knoxville? That's correct, yeah. So it wow. brought me down here and I'm um, really thankful in so many ways that, that I'm down here. Um, I miss a lot of people up there, but through social media and any time that I go back and visit, um, I'm lucky enough that we always get together and, and do a little playing up there as well. So. You know, it's strange because uh, it seems like the north and the south, particularly between like New York and Nashville and even Knoxville to a degree, has kind of a musical connection because there's a real love of like bluegrass and Americana in New York as well. There is, and I, you know, I grew up, I was a southern rocker, so you, you know, you think about that, well, like, I come down here and people cannot believe that I know as much as I do about all the southern rock groups, right. so, um, and I still play, and, and um, so I'm very, very, uh, I'm very happy about that, but you're right, I mean, I, I grew up going to concerts of, you know, Charlie Daniels and Marshall Tucker and the Outlaws and... You know, I just missed Skinner, the original band, but I've seen him so many times, you know, after that. And uh, so, yeah, very, very good. I, I grew up in those roots. Yeah, it's a weird musical connection. It so, is. Uh, does that kind of influence your songwriting at all? Yeah, so I, I, I do. It's 
what it taught me was um, being very simple yet doing different inversions on different chords and just expanding up and down the neck. So um, it's more of a rocker type of feel. It's more, much more folk rock than it is on uh, the traditional singer-songwriter finger-picking stuff. I do have a couple of, uh, of songs like that that'll be coming out on the new CD, but for the most part, I, I, uh, I'm a strummer. You know, I'm a strummer and I'm a, you know, I try to rock um, and I try to give you a different alternative playing out. Right on. And uh, you mentioned the new CD. You have one CD out so far, correct? Yeah, so I have, I have uh, one that, I'm, I, that I've um, uh, really put out there. Um, I have other ones in the past that, that were really a stepping stone. Um, mm -hmm. And I use that to kind of get an education in the, in the, in the um, studio yeah, about recording. recording. Process, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and using it as asking a ton of questions and finding out different you know, settings and everything. Um, but the last one and, and this one, I think, are two that I'm very, very happy about. Um, I think you can see, so far, the people who've heard it definitely saw a progression in some of the songwriting and playing. So, so uh, how many songs are you expecting to put on the next album? It's going to be between six and ten um, right now, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about um, how it's coming out. The recording process is great. The way the, micro, the, way the guitars are microphoned, um, it's good. It's gonna be. I, I think it's good. I hope. I hope everybody else. Does. <laughs> That's always the uh, the kind of the question. It's just like, man, I think this sounds great. I hope everybody else does too. <laughs> I hear ya. I hear ya. Uh, so when you're writing, is there like a kind of particular tone you like to set? Is there like a time, day, place that you like to write? No, you know, it, 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 that's a great question. But no, I um, I, whenever the inspiration you know finds me, I, I'm lucky enough to have a little studio up uh, you know, up in my house, and I get to go up there, hit one button, and everything pops on, and uh, I get to go up there and kind of create. So sometimes it's um, it's a it's a really good avenue for me to just either play, uh, write. Um, come up with a different rhythm. I, I tend to do music first and then it inspires me from melody line and then I, I take it from there. So um, it's, it's no real big hidden secret. I just like to get up there and sometimes a mistake can turn into a pretty decent song. And you mentioned uh, you like to play with a lot of other people. You like to do co-writes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so I've done a lot of that, especially down here. I've done it up in New York a little bit as well. Um, and, and that's the whole band thing, too. It's like you can bring something to the table and they bring something. Um, right now when I play out, um, it's a really good um, setting that, you know, we play on each other's leads. We play, uh, you know, on each other's songs, whether it's a lead or a harmony, uh, anything like that. So it's really good sharing that. And, and again, that's that says a lot for the community down here. Um, they really embrace me, and I am so thankful for it uh, ever since I've been down here. It's a it's it's a really embracing community because they, they see anybody who's putting in you know hard work and you know has an original kind of thing that they're trying to do. If you're just writing your songs, trying to express them, it's hard not to find a following around mm -hmm. here and find some people who are going to be an advocate for you, uh, particularly in the artists because they. It's, I don't know if it's the proximity to Nashville or something like that because it's, it's more communal here. Like there's a much more of a community support system here yep. than it feels like there is in Nashville. You know, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And I, I think the one thing that I've really appreciated being out here is that you know you can go to any place, uh, and I mean that the things that are hidden away, and you can get up there and play a couple of songs, and when you come off be like, wow, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me up. And I, I did that one night and uh, I played and uh, somebody was like, yeah, you know, it sounded pretty good. Do you know who you were playing with? And I was like, no. You know, and it was like the keyboard player from Charlie Pride's band. And, mm, you know, wow. like, you know, a, um, a slide guitar that uh, played, that played with uh, Dolly Parton. And, and, and you know, I, I just got up there, did a couple songs and had fun. And you, you know, like, that's you another never, thing around here. You yeah, never, you know, never you know. Know. run into no, so yeah, it was, some of those jams. It's a, yeah. And it was mind blowing. And, uh, again, I think that adds to that people live here. People are just very, you know, nice about it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just, yeah, come on up and, and be a part. And, and, and I, I, with some of my friends, we try to do the same thing. You're like, yeah, go ahead, play, play lead, sing, whatever. We, we trust you. Go ahead. You know, whatever you feel. Yeah, that open mic scene and just the jam session scene is really incredible when they're just doing like a session in the round or something like that. It's yeah. real, real cool and you never know who you might be playing with. You, you, you never do. Same thing like, you know, I, I was in Nashville and I played um, one time at Bobby's Idol Hour and uh, somebody got up and, and as I was playing and started playing lead in the ring and I was like, you know what, that is the biggest kick for me is to have somebody else just come on up and play lead and, and feel that at that moment 
I can add to somebody else's song. Yeah. And for them to come up and do that on my song, i totally blown away. And again, it, it was just so many fortunate things have happened since I've been here, or actually since I played even up in New York. So really, really good. I'm, I'm very happy. Awesome. So uh, the new album, when are you expecting that out? So it should be out, but um, I think we're planning on um, a July kickoff, so sometime in July. Okay, fantastic. Uh, where can people find it? So you're going to find it on KevinMahoneyMusic.com. There's all kinds of social media. We'll be definitely, through promotion, pumping it out there. So uh, look for it, and I'm going to be very excited about it, and I'm very excited about hearing how you guys like it. Thanks a lot, man. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. That way you don't miss another ProMotion Live session.